So I'll just let you know if that happens. Okay, okay. okay so this is a demonstration of pelvic lumbar traction. We have two belts. The pelvic belt, as I showed you before, kind of goes over the pelvis. Now, it's not at the level of the as is, it's slightly above the as is, so the as is is kind of centered here, and the belt, uh, so that this strap is coming right down along the greater trochanter side of the leg, you know, not too far forward, not too far back. Um, you're going to lay them on the table with the shiny side up. That's weird. Why did the bed table just move? Did the table just move? I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, I thought it was going down. No, I'm, thinking, I'm not stepping on the pedal. No. Yeah. It's over there. So. And so this is going to hook into the traction unit. And then we have our thoracic stabilizing belt, which goes over the rib cage, lower rib cage. Again, kind of centered, not too far forward, not too far back. You have to spread out your straps depending on how wide around your partner is, your patient. And uh, you can put these on the patient standing up, but I find it's a little more difficult to get the patient to lay down and sit up when they got these stiff belts on because they're really hard to move on. To loosen these a little bit because they're still in a tightened position. They were used. You just press that. This one actually presses easier than the other one. So that you can lengthen the straps and then hook it in and tighten it. I'm going to have you come around on this side. Hello, my name is Jean. I'm going to be your student physical therapist assistant today. How would you like me to address you? Bees big. Bees just big? Just not BS. Just Brittany's fine. <laughs> okay, Miss Jean. We're going to do a traction here for your lower back. So what you want to do is you want to, um, you're going to have to practice with your patient to get a feel for how tall they are. When you're doing a lumbar traction, you lay them down with their head on this end and their feet on that end. When you're doing cervical tracking, it's just the opposite. The head goes on that end and the feet go on this end. So we want to try to sit her in such a place so that when she lays down, I don't have to move her around any more than I absolutely have to. Oh, I would also like for you to remove your belt. It's a little hard to get these uh, pelvic belts over big bulky belts. There you go. Thank you. Okay, so sit kind of right here. <laughs> So what I'm going to have you do um, is you're going to lay down onto your side first, put your elbow here, bring this hand in front, raise up your feet, and now roll onto your back and bring your knees up. Let's go ahead and let's uh, bend your right knee and then bend your left knee so that she's not bending both her legs at the same time. Oh, we are way, way, way too high. You're going to need to scoot down. There we go. Good. Well, maybe go back up just a touch. Yeah, try that right there. Because see, here's her as is. -is. So that one, um, make sure she's got the pillow under her head so she's comfortable. This way, and shift this one down. Could you roll to your right side a little bit for me? No, shift this one down. I don't want to pinch your hair either. Oh, thanks. Is that okay? On your a little mm -hmm. back there and roll back to your left a little bit. Make sure that's good. Okay. Alrighty. So before we actually um, start buckling anything in, we want to kind of make sure she's centered on the table. Maybe shift back this way towards me a little bit to your right. You're right. Okay. And then you're going to put these up like this to make sure they're level. Um, do they look level to you guys? No. no. What do you think? One's this one's a little bit higher. So I'm just going to shift this one out a little bit. And then we want to make sure that it's going to be lined up along the outside of her leg. Remember I said it's supposed to come to the greater trochanter. So if I pick this one up, it should be kind of down the side of her leg. So that should probably do it when we get down. Now, um, 
when I did this for the morning group, I put her legs up on the stool first so she would be comfortable while I was buckling. Because a lot of times people with back pain, they don't want to lay with their legs flat like that because that puts a strain. But it's kind of hard to get all the belts buckled in when they got their legs bent up. We'll just leave her like that so you can see real good. Okay, so now I'm going to take these buckles. Let's twist it over here. Yeah, it is twisted. On the practical, are you going to want her legs up, though? Um, I'm probably just going to put her legs on the stool, just so I, she doesn't have to worry about holding them up and she doesn't have to be uncomfortable. So um, let's go ahead and bend your right leg up, and then bend your left leg. Up. Oh, let me help you because I want you to hurt your back. And you're going to assist her. To place her legs on the stool one leg at a time because you never want somebody who has back pain to lift both their legs up at the same time because that's hard. So I'm going to angle my stool this way and actually I think on the practical we'll use the um, other stool only because the suction cups aren't as strong. <laughs> lift this leg here, okay, just rest it there for a second. I'm going to have to walk around the other side for my body mechanics so I'm not trying to lift her leg from the opposite side of the table. Now with this leg, you've got your legs on the stool. And so now she can relax and be comfortable. But you could probably leave her legs down flat too, and that probably would be okay. Are you comfortable? Mm -hmm. So now I'm gonna hook this one in and pull it a little bit snug, but not all the way snug, because I might have to adjust it so. Raise up just a tiny touch. There we go. Hook this one in. I'm shifting them over this way a little bit. Raise up again just a tiny touch. Because when I pull these tight, if you can see there's this strap here that's going through, if I pull it so tight that my buckle is now bumping into that strap, see, I can't get any tighter. So then I have to move the buckle over. The buckle should be in the middle once, once it's tight. Raise up again. You're not as big around as I thought you were. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yeah, yeah. Fill me with those comments. Huh? <laughs> I said you'd fill me with those comments. <laughs> Only because you're all making jokes before about the hips. <laughs> I don't think any of you guys got big hips. Just big mouths. So if you look at the, yeah, yeah, this one here, does that look like it's coming down to the side of the greater trochanter? Or is it up a little high? It's raise up and shift this one. It's coming down the side. Okay. So I'm not going to tighten them real secure until I'm sure I got everything where I want it. So now you're going to slip this arm into this strap. And then you're going to slip this arm into this strap. Oh, you notice I put the uh, belt kind of going lengthwise so that it doesn't mess up my cords anywhere. I mean, my these straps here, I can see what they're doing and they're not under the pillow. See, these are way to the size. I'll put them here. Excuse me, I need to get that right there. Or length of this one. Okay. Okay. Oh, How much time do we have for this practical? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, 30 minutes, I think. Yeah, but I'm talking while I'm doing it, where normally you don't talk while you're doing it, you just do it. Okay, so these we're going to hook up here. Flip this over. Hook it into place. And then we're going to pull it snug here by pulling onto this strap to tighten it, to stabilize the upper part of her chest so that when it separates, this holds her trunk thoracic area down. Okay, so now we're going to check to kind of make sure she's centered on the table. I'm going to need you to spread your knees a little bit more so we can see. Now, um, the switch to turn this machine on is on the side here. Because we're doing lumbar, I need to raise the table and actually, um, uh, we said earlier the table wasn't working. 
It's because I'm on it. No. <laughs> <coughs> I, I bumped it before and it looked like it was working. Is it appropriate for me to fold this pillow again? Can you do that? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, going down. See if this one go up. I think we just probably need a new switch. Okay, so for this demo, we're just going to have to leave it there. It's because, it's, see, it's going down, but it's not going up. Mm -hmm. So, it, I don't know if it's the... Because the table's new, we just got it last year, but I seem to remember there was some kind of problem with the pedal <clears throat> that they had to send us another one. Okay, so we're going to set her at, hmm. see if you can zoom in on our screen, cameraman. Oh, here. How do we do uh, that? <laughs> yeah, really, this button here zooms in. Oh, at the top there, okay. Oh, God, I can't see how well we can see this. Okay. All right, so I'll try to stay to the side. Okay. <laughs> okay, so um, we're going to give her 35 pounds. We'll start down here. We're going to select intermittent. And then uh, it gives you a choice of different steps. So we're just going to do it in, uh, well, we can put it on zero and then it'll just automatically go to one. Because we don't want to do the different number of steps because we want to be able to just set it all at one time. So it's on intermittent with uh, just going all the way up to the maximum level of poundage and then coming down and going all the way off. Um, we're going to give her a one-to-one -one ratio. So we're going to give her 10 seconds on, hitting the enter button. And then we're going to give her 10 seconds off. And then we're going to set her poundage at 35 because it needs to be one quarter of her body weight or 35 pounds, whichever is uh, the most. And um, because this is a, um, a uh, joint problem, because we're doing a one-to-one -one ratio, we'll give her a 20-minute treatment. Okay, so she's set for 20 minutes. There's only one step. It's going to go all the way up to her 35 pounds, stay up there for 10 seconds, go down, stay off for 10 seconds, and then go right up to the 35 pounds again for 10 seconds and then go down. Uh, where if you put steps, each rep, it would gradually increase and then gradually decrease. Now there's a rope release button here, so we want to press that rope release button when we're trying to pull out, and we can twist this too, just for the rope release. Uh, it does say you can pull the rope release when you're not pressing the button, but I would request that you not do that because I don't want to mess up the... Um, pulling. You know, you think if you keep pulling it when it doesn't think you're going to be pulling it, eventually it, it, it gets loosened. So now to take some of the tension out, I'm going to press this rope release button again, but hold the cord so it doesn't just snap. Okay. So this is where we're going to check to make sure that it's in uh, good alignment. We want to look to make sure that she's centered on the table, not too far to the right, not too far to the left. And then we also want to make sure the belt, it looks like uh, what we're going to have you do is shift your hips just a tad that direction. And then we're going to make sure we got the belt where it needs to be. See, it's not completely tight yet. I'm not 100% sure I like what we got. Oh, that's way over there. That's not what I want. Let's see. Maybe we should have the table higher. Because when the table's high, we can see what we're doing. Here we can't see very well. Let's, um, let's I want, I want to get the stool legs out of the way.
see when you don't have the table up because the machine's in the way. Now let's shift back just a little bit more towards your right. A little bit more. Here we go. All right, let's go ahead and tighten it up here. So now when we tighten it, it's going to be good and snug. Oh, yep. <laughs> and it's got to be good and snug, otherwise the belt starts to slide, and that's not good. Um, and that makes her uh, feel like her pants are being pulled off. Not quite what I was going with. Okay. Because <laughs> see, when the table's up, it's on a angle pull, I can see how she's positioned. When I try to look to see how she's positioned, the machine's blocking my view. Mm -hmm. That's because I can't get the table up. All right, so what we, before we actually turn her on, we're gonna give her this emergency cutoff switch so that if for any reason it's uncomfortable, you can just turn that off. And then we also give her a bell, so you can ring the bell if you need me and I will come around. Now we're going to go ahead and press start and we're going to let it pull one time and then we'll separate the table. Is it okay to use it at that height even though the table wouldn't come up? Well, it's more effect when you're doing um, when you're doing lumbar traction, you want to have the line of pull more horizontal okay. so that it's pulling more right directly on the posterior part of the vertebrae there. Um, so it would probably be more effective if it's more horizontal. Right. So basically it should more, more or less be a straight line. Right. From Pretty much. where the rope's coming out straight across. Mm -hmm. And you get that by raising the table. Right. Okay, so now I'm going to turn this knob here. And this time you will feel the table move. That pool was okay, right? Mm -hmm. You didn't feel much at all, did you? No. no. So now when you actually separate the table, you'll feel more pull. So if, if I have her set for 10 seconds on, 10 seconds off, um, you move the camera back over here, right? Oh, yeah. Sharp yep. um, Way before. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that gives me 10 seconds to loosen the knob and, you know, have her pull. How's that? Is that pull comfortable? Mm -hmm. You want a little more? I feel like it could go a little bit more now. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, because one thing, she's not totally horizontal. So now what I can do is when she's on the off cycle, get that on. Okay, so we're gonna do her and go up. Oh, I'm gonna tell her. Okay. So now we got you up to 40. Now what it did was when I tried to put it on 40, it had the little box that said cervical. So I had to change it from cervical to lumbar so the machine would know that I was doing lumbar track and it was okay to go to 40. So now it's going up. How's that feel? Is that a little bit more pull? Mm -hmm. And that's comfortable. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, so we'll just leave it there like that. And then we can just double check to make sure everything's. So if you look down here, the cord needs, the cord that's on her lumbar needs to be centered in this bar here so that she's centered. And then we also want to have the same amount of room on this side of the table as on this side of the table and then the belt straight so that these pieces here are coming down the sides of her legs and these here are coming down the back of her legs. You could um, get the cord straight if you had the belt all cockeyed and she was one side or the other. You know what I'm saying? You could push your way over here, adjust the belt, it would look like it's going down the middle but she's not centered. So she needs to be centered in the bed. So at this point, she's got her call bell and her cutoff switch. I would leave the area. Now, if this is a 20-minute treatment, how soon am I going to come back? Five minutes. Five, Five minutes. minutes. Right. How's that pull feel, Miss B? Is it still okay? <laughs> okay. So you know if you need me, you can ring the bell. All right? Okay. So uh, now we'll say 20 minutes later. Go ahead and shut your button off. See what it does. See? Yeah. See, it makes a little bit of a beeping sound. So that would let you know, hmm, off. Can she turn it back on? I don't know. So what you guys say? I don't think so. Because I have to press the screen to let it know, okay, I know it's going to keep yeah. going until I come and press the screen. Now I'm trying to turn it back on again. Yeah. 
It did. She turned it back on. Oh. Oh, you, you can do no, that. No, it's going. It's still right. going down. It just went all the way down. It oh. started humming, oh. but it's going all the way down. Let's see if it'll go back on again. That's okay. Hmm. The time's not counting down anymore. Okay, so now I'm going to hit stop over here. Oh, wait, I don't want to hit stop here because she stopped it already. I don't have to do that. I'll hit my rope release so I can then pull some tension out of that rope so I can take it off. And once it's taut like that, I can't get it off. And the first thing I like to do is to loosen these belts so she can breathe. <laughs> All right. And then we can unbuckle, which is... It's hard on my hand. Squeeze, there we go. Okay, so we'll flip this arm out up here. We also want to make sure the table's up because it's better for our body mechanics. So I think we'll just kind of leave the table where it is. One leg at a time, we're going to lift this leg and shift your stool out of the way and put it down on the table and walk around so I can help you with your other leg. This leg. Before you get up, what I'm going to need to have you do, let me put that up first so we don't drop it on the floor. Her cutoff switch. So you're going to raise your hips and scoot to your left just a little bit. Ugh. Oh, I did lock the table. Is that a critical oh, angle? Let's see. Actually, no, maybe it should be. I'm not a rocket. Oh, no. Let's not do it. Let's not do it. Give me some ideas. No. no. <laughs> okay. But yeah, you can see as soon as she starts moving. So um, I think you're probably over far enough. You're going to roll over on your side towards me. And to sit up without hurting your back, you're going to push with this arm and prop on that arm. You ready? One, two, three. Drop your feet off. Push with your arms. Sit up steady. Are you dizzy? Nope. Okay. So then we can get up off the table. We'll go to the other room. You can do your back exercises. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, here. I'm sorry. Miss B, take oh. your belt so your pants don't fly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So to clean up the area, we'll take this off and just throw it back in the drawer. And see, it's left in the tightened position from where she had it on. So the next person's going to have to loosen it. Back pathology, so right, I need somebody who wants to have a neck done. Okay, okay. Uh, I think you might need yeah, to take off your earrings. And we need um, a towel roll from your linen bag. Do you want me to get my towel? Does it matter? You don't care. Oh, but what I need to do first while she's getting out of towel roll is wash them. Because oh, where okay. she's going to lay her head is the exact same spot where the other person just had her feet. So we want to make sure we're cleaning the table. At the end of the treatment, you know, before we leave and go write our note, that's part of cleaning your area is wiping down the table. Getting yours up your shirt. <laughs> oh. And then I'm going to wash my hands because I 
Still going. Hello, my name is Jean. I'm <laughs> the physical therapist assistant for today. How would you like for me to call you? Amanda. Hi, Amanda. How's your neck today? Oh, it's oh sorry. Sorry. Let's come around this side over here so that we, we're not having our back to the camera. And um, what I'm having you do is sit here. And um, well, I didn't actually go through my whole spiel, but we're just doing the same. So we're going to hold the cervical collar up in the air like this first, so you can make sure you got it centered right. Uh, you're not going to mess with these pieces here, okay? There's these straps that are on the back part. Let me get these straps up. See these here? Those are what you're going to be hooking into place in this one here. Don't mess with anything else that's connected up top. We're here on the side pieces here because then that'll mess up the alignment of the collar. So they're still in the shortened position from when the last person put them on, so I'm going to lengthen them a little bit. Now, you also want to notice that on this cervical collar, part of this buckle has serrated on it. That's to help hold it in place. The other part of the buckle is smooth. That's the part you want to hook in to this clip in the front. Okay? If you hook in the serrated end, you're going to have a real hard time getting it off. And it's just going to frustrate you and get you all discombobulated. So make sure you're hooking the correct side in. Okay. So you're going to kind of hold it up like this where you can see the occipital part's higher than the chin part to make sure you've got it where you want it before we're going to rest, put it over the lady's head. So we're going to put... Uh, paper towels here so we're not just putting the collar up against her skin and we'll also put a paper towel here in the front for the chin piece but for right now I'm going to lay this over her head on the back of her head. and it's got to go on her occipital bone so it's not down here on the back of her neck it's not up here on the back of her head <laughs> it's right there on her occipital kind of like little ox in the free bear right there on the back of her head. So I'm gonna kind of hold that up, but I think you might need to shift down that way just a little bit. I feel like you're, not sorry, not, not too much. Um, so now we'll ch so I'm gonna have to hold this on her head as she lays down. So you're gonna come down onto this elbow. You're gonna go onto your side first. Bring this hand in front of you and then slowly lower down as you pick up your feet. And now you're gonna roll back onto your back. There you go, how'd that feel? It didn't hurt your neck? Oh, your hair is perfect for this. Well, you can see, huh? <laughs> Never mind. Not yours. <laughs> Only because you can uh, see real good where it's fitting on her, you know? Okay. Now, um, we want to make sure that she's comfortable. So we're going to give her the bolster. So again, bend this leg up, and then bend this leg up. And now I can slip the bolster, now you can lower your legs down. Does that feel comfortable? Mm -hmm. She might need to, oh no, she's okay. You're right smack in the middle. Her nose is right in line with the bar. <clears throat> so for cervical, we use a spreader bar. And I think if we leave the table at this height, it's probably a good distance because we want this to be at about a 45 degree angle so that as it pulls, it will tip her head into flexion. Whereas with the uh, pelvic, we want it horizontal. Okay, so now we have to get this piece here. Oh, and I also want you to, I don't know if you can see this. I'm sorry, get this idea. Um, there's these two clips on either side here, but they're not centered. This seam here is not smack in the middle. It's a little off to the side. So that seam is not meant to go smack in the middle of the chin. It's meant to be to one side so that uh, they don't have the seam right against their chin. So we put our other towel in here, and we prop that up right there to her lip. And this one's going to come to the side, and this one's going to come to the side. Now I'm going to take, make sure it's not tangled, take the smooth end and clip it in place. I have to tighten that a little bit. I don't want to tighten it too much. I'm going to walk around to the other side. What's this? And clip this one in. Give it a little bit of attention. 
tighten it a little bit more once we get her hooked up. So I'm going to have to press my rope release. Hook this in here. This is our spreader bar, which is going to separate. Something out of a horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, this reminds us of Hannibal Lecter. That's why I asked if she wanted any fava beans. Any what? <laughs> I, fava beans. I get it now. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to make sure these are. Um, let me just check. Wait, let me check. Just look at they're some cute. of the alignment before I tighten it in. Okay, so now I'm going to tighten these two straps so they're a little bit snugger. Just a little bit tighter on this side. And I don't really like to reach with my armpit over their face. This is a good idea. Nice. <laughs> That's why I walk around. <laughs> it takes a few more steps. But yeah, there we go. Oh, that feels pretty good. And you want to kind of make sure these are pretty even. You don't want to have one like this and the other one like that because that means one side's tightened more than the other. So they should be pretty balanced. And you want the bar to be level, her nose to be in line with the bar and the cord. And then before we do anything, we give her her emergency cutoff switch. So if for any reason it gets uncomfortable, you can control the machine and turn it off. And then you also need to ring this bell to call me, and I'll come and run. Okay. Are you comfortable with 10 pounds? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, let's see, we'll do this one with the 1 to 3 ratio. So I'm going to give her 10 seconds of hold and 30 seconds of rest for a 1 to 3 ratio because we're now doing cervical, I'm going to give her 10 pounds um, and because we're doing uh, a disc problem, we're only going to give her 8 minutes of treatment. Okay, so before we turn anything on, we're going to double check. She's got 10 pounds for her cervical pull. 10 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Only going up one time, staying off for 30 seconds, then going back up again. So there's no steps for eight minutes. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and hit start. And if you notice, as it starts to pull, you can see it's going to tip her head a little bit. So now it's up to its 10 pounds. How's that feel? Good. And the table stays locked for this, right? Yes, because, yeah, do we, we don't unlock the table for, for only for pelvic. Because it, what it does is it keeps her from sliding back and forth on the table. That now we've got the thoracic belt holding her down as the table pulls her apart. You want a few more pounds or are you comfortable with that? It's all right. It's, uh, you want to try a couple more? Do you feel much pull? A little bit. You can do a couple more okay. pounds. We want, if we're going to up it, we want to do it when it's in its off cycle. Eight minutes here. Good job, another five. Because now we've got 30 seconds in between, so that's a little bit more of a wait. Because um, you want her to go all the way up and all the way down before we leave the area so we know it's comfortable. Okay, feeling a little bit more? Is that too much? No, Miss okay. You're sure? Because I can go back down a little bit if you think it's too much. No, that's fine. It just surprised me. Oh, because it was that little <laughs> more? So it's on 15 now. Instead of going 12, I just went and bumped this to 15. <laughs> <laughs> but normally, if somebody that does have a neck pathology, you want to keep it conservative. Because a lot of times it feels really good, and people say, oh, give me more, give me more. But then you end up pulling too much overstretching and then they come back the next day and they're really sore. So you really have to go up conservatively. So at this point I would then, uh, she's got a call bell, I leave the area. If it's an eight minute treatment, when am I going to come back? Two two minutes. Minutes. It's been about two minutes already because we're on six minutes. <laughs> okay, so I come back and say again, yeah. So how's that for you, Miss Amanda? It's still okay? Mm -hmm, it's still good. All right, very good. Well, you can just relax and enjoy it and if you need me, ring the bell. Okay. So then the machine would eventually stop on its own, it would shut off, but we'll just go ahead and stop it here. Let's 
going back down the note pole. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some release on this so I can get some slack here to take off the spreader bar. And all I have to do is unhook the hooks. And unhook the hook. And we can flip this over her head and it will just stay there when she gets up. And bend this leg up first for me, your right leg, and now bend up your left leg. I'm going to pull our bolster out. And before you get up, I want you to scoot a little over to your right, just so we have enough room here. Okay, now roll over towards me, and you're going to push with this hand here to prop on your elbow to sit up sideways. Okay, one, two, three, push with your arms, drop those feet, sit up straight. Are you dizzy? Okay, good. So we will now go do some exercises. Okay. So then we would then clean up all our area. This would, we again have to wash the table because we didn't have a seat. Okay. So I'll leave that in the way. Do our call bell over here. Okay, we can turn that off. Right. Thank you for monitoring that. You're welcome. All right. Anybody got any questions? How do I shut this off? Oh, okay. <laughs> that's a good question. There you go, right here. 